Hey everyone, welcome to my 24 week pregnancy update. My name is Herdana. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. If you are oldie but a goodie, welcome back. Okay, so according to Baby Center, it says your baby is growing steadily, having gained about 4 ounces since last week. That puts him at about 1 and 1 third pounds since he's almost a foot long, about the length of an ear of corn. He cuts a pretty lean figure at this point, but his body is filling out proportionally and he'll soon start to clump up. His brain is also growing quickly now and his taste buds are continuing to develop. His lungs are developing branches of the respiratory tree as well as cells that will help his air sacs inflate once he hits the outside world. His skin is still thin and translucent but that will start to change soon. So let's talk about my um, symptoms. So of course I'm still feeling fatigued guys. I took a nap earlier today. Um, freaking urination that comes with your uterus growing. Um, I get out of breath now. I'm finding myself having to take more breaths and I'm feeling a little bit out of breath more now. Um, I still have the pregnancy itch. I might have to get some calamine lotion. Um, I'm not sure if any of you guys are familiar with my last pregnancy. If you were following us um, back when I was pregnant with Caleb, you guys would know that I was using calamine lotion to soothe the pregnancy itch. So I may have to start back using that because this pregnancy itch is getting out of hand. Um, I'm still having pregnancy brain, <laughs> which is hilarious because like I told you guys in my last vlog, I feel like I've had pregnancy brain before I was even pregnant. Um, I'm a little moody. Um, I still find myself crying for no reason at all. Sometimes I just get frustrated and yeah, so I am moody. Um, I do still have dry mouth. So I am drinking, um, I find myself having to really drink a lot of water, or I always feel like I'm dehydrated. Um, my legs always fall asleep. Even if I have them propped up, they always seem to fall asleep. So I really do need to start doing more activity. I need to get, get out and start walking more, even if it's just walking around the house, because um, my legs, they go to sleep. And it hurts like it always feel like little needles are in my in my feet and that bothers me so as far as cravings go I have been craving donuts and strawberry smoothies <laughs> so if you guys um, watched our vlog you guys would know that um, we went to a donut shop and yeah I bought some donuts because that's what I've been craving um, as far as my doctor's appointment, so today I did have a doctor's appointment and they took my urine. And if you guys are new to my channel, I'm looking at my notes if you guys see me look down. So they took a urine sample or whatever and then the, the young lady, she came in, she took my vital signs. My blood pressure was 90 over 60. My weight was 82.8 pounds. So yes, I am very petite. Um, I think I was about 70 pounds when I first started this pregnancy. So yes, I am very, I'm very short for my age. I'm 4'6", and I'm very petite. So yeah, my, uh, the baby's heart rate, when the doctor finally did come in, the baby's heart rate was 130, and she said that's normal. Um, she gave me a pep smear, and she used the metal clamps, you guys, and that hurt it so freaking bad. I was on the table cringing. It hurt it so, so bad. Um, she also, uh, I also had to take blood, well, they took blood from me to do um, genetic testing or whatever. And the results should come back within 10 days. So, um, yeah, if we don't get an ultrasound before the um, genetic testing comes back, they will be able to tell us through our blood what I'm having. Well, through, I said through our blood, through my blood, what I'm having. And I believe Israel said he is going to um, call them and see what the gender is. But that's if I don't get an ultrasound before then. Um, so I do come back within, I want to say on the 29th, 
I have a um, anatomy scan for an ultrasound where they do the big ultrasound. They check for gender, check for all type of stuff. And that is going to be on March 29th. And um, my new due date is June 29th. Um, she's going to give me a scheduled C-section because I've already had a C-section. Well, you know, two previous C-sections before. And I am... I'm okay with that, but I am kind of um, nervous about it because the last C-section I had with Caleb, it was a, I lost a lot of blood and it was complications. So I'm kind of like a little nervous about that, about this new C-section, but it's in God's hands. Um, so I'm just going to pray. Like I was telling you guys when I first started this pregnancy, how I was crying all the time because I'm so scared to give birth to this baby. And like I said, I'm trying my hardest to get over that being afraid of giving birth to this baby. And I'm just leaving it in God's hands. So if you guys can really pray for me, you know, that I'll be brave when it comes down to, you know, going to get my C-section. Because I'm kind of on the, on the edge of breaking down again because it's like, dang. But at the same time, I'm like, okay. Everything is going to be okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I got um, for the baby. Um, if you guys are familiar with our um, our family vlogs, um, for those who are new here, I do do family vlogs on this channel. And this past week, me and my mom went to um, Walmart and I bought a few things for the baby. So I'm going to show you guys those items. Okay guys, so the first... Um, thing I want to show you guys is this newborn pack of onesies. By Gerber. This just says, Mommy Loves Me. And I tried to get neutral gender things. I tried to make sure they were as gender neutral as I possibly could get them. Then I got a pack of um, zero to three month um, long sleeve onesies. Just plain white. And I also got another pair which is a three to six month. And I got one last thing. Well, not one last thing, but one last pack of onesies. This is another zero to three month. This is also um, long sleeve. The other one that I just showed you guys was short sleeve. And then I got the baby some bottles. This is just the Walmart brand, the parent's choice. And this is pretty much just to start my little baby collection. I am going to be getting more things. Um, some of you guys were asking, you know, if I had an, a P.O. box because you guys wanted to send baby picking something. And by all means, you guys do not have to send baby pickings anything. You guys don't have to send me and my family anything. But you guys were asking. And I do have a P.O. box. It's in my um, description box and everything. And, um, yeah, all that information is in the description box. So, I am so appreciative and thankful for you guys who do want to send baby something because that is a blessing that I can have you guys as, like, extended family that wants to do, you know, for baby pickings. And I think that is just so amazing that it's people like you guys in the world that care about other families. You know what I'm saying? So that is just amazing to me that I have you guys in my life. I love all of you guys so, so much. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming along with this journey. And for those who are new to the channel who just subscribed, thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead show you guys my belly. Unfortunately, <clears throat> unfortunately, I cannot um, measure myself because I left my, my um, tape measure at Izzy's mom's house but thankfully I did measure myself like a day ago 
So I am 30 around. So that's pretty much going to be it for this 24 week pregnancy update until my 25 week pregnancy update. Okay guys, here's my stomach from the front. Here's my stomach from the right side. And here's my stomach from the left side. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to thumbs this video up. And if this was your first time watching, make sure once this video goes off that you guys start to watch our family vlogs and get caught up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.